It's a common practice for me while doing on-course coaching to help my clientele understand their ball flight tendencies and how to play them more effectively. Make sure you watch this video. I'm going to help you do the same. Hi, I'm PJ Master Professional of Instruction, John Hughes. Thanks for tuning into my channel in this video. If you haven't already done so, ring the bell, subscribe down there in the bottom right hand corner. Every time I put a new video on the channel, you're going to get notified. We're producing a whole lot of really good content that you're going to want to watch over the coming weeks. When we're talking about predominant ball flight, that's probably the biggest thing I go over with clients simply because you're not a tour pro. You don't have the eight hours a day, seven days a week to invest in your swing improvement. You've got to play with the swing you have unless you're investing a lot of time. That swing you have produces a predominant ball flight. What do I mean by that? You'll see the ball move the same way each and every time in the air. And it's easy to predict. Let's talk about it as an average, not necessarily as an anomaly. Don't try to go after the one shot that goes straight. Let's just play the predominant ball flight. For right-handers, that means you're probably hitting a fade off to the right-hand side. And when you do that, from the left-hand side of the tee box, there is no geometric room for that ball to possibly land in the fairway unless, unless you hit that anomaly. We can't be bargaining on that. For the average right-handed golfer who fades, let's go ahead and play the fade, but let's play from the left-hand side, I'm sorry, the right-hand side of the tee box, where if I get out of the picture, you'll see that we've got a lot of room to aim left and have the ball drift back to the right into the fairway. So what I'm going to try to do here is show you how that's done. Here's the ball, right side of the tee box, I'm going to try to aim down to the corner of the sand traps and let the ball fade back in. If I do that correctly, I'm going to play the predominant ball flight and I'll be in play to make my par. There it is to the corner and then drifting a little bit to the right as we finish up the ball flight, drifting right. Really simple concept that if you use it, you're going to play smarter and lower your scores immediately without investing any time in improving your golf swing. Have any questions, comments, leave them below. I get to as many as I can, as often as I can. And again, please subscribe. I appreciate you doing so. Come on back often. Find out more ways that you can improve your game.